many generations ago, a messenger of God was sent to a people who had left the worship of the one true God for the worship of false gods and idols. After a lifetime of advising his people, this great prophet of Allah realized that none would ever listen to his call. So he turned to God for help. The prophet's name was Nu. Oh my Lord, truly I am overcome. I have been rejected by my people, cried the prophet. I have called to my people night and day, but all they do is turn from me. Every time I call them to your forgiveness, they thrust their fingers in their ears, proud and arrogant. I have called to them openly, I have called to them publicly, and I have appealed to them in private. I have said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no other God but him. Ignore this man and do not abandon your gods. Do not abandon Wad, nor Suwa, nor Yaguth, nor Yauth, nor Nasr, for they are your gods. Ignore this man who is clearly mad. O oh my people, I am not mad. Rather, I am a messenger from your Lord. Allah has sent you a message from a man from amongst yourselves to warn you. Yes, yes, a man. He's no more than a man like us. All he wants is power and wealth. If God had wanted to send a messenger, he would have sent us an angel. Never did we hear anything like this from our forefathers. Oh, my people, Allah has given me prophethood through his mercy. But you are all blind to that mercy. I do not claim to be an angel, nor do I ask for any wealth, for my reward is with Allah. Shall we believe when only the poorest of people follow you blindly? You have no merit over us. You are no more than a liar. O oh, my people, I am sent only as a plain warner. Fear the punishment of your Lord. No. This discussion has gone on long enough. If we are to be punished, then let us see this punishment. Allah will punish you when he wills, and you will not escape it. No, if you do not stop this call, we will stone you to death. Back at home, no, made dua. Oh, my Lord. Help me because they deny me. Do not allow the disbelievers to continue. For if they do, they will mislead your servants and raise their children to be just as wicked. O oh my Lord, forgive me and my parents and all who enter my house as believers and all the believing men and women. God inspired Noah with a message. None of your people will believe except those who have believed already. So do not be sad because of their evil deeds. Build a ship under our sight and our guidance and address me no further on behalf of those who are in sin, for they shall be drowned in a flood. Nuh began to build the ship, but every time the chiefs of his people passed by, they would mock him. If you ridicule us now, replied Nu, we in our turn will look down upon you and ridicule you likewise. Soon you will see who is the loser. Behold, Allah commanded the rains to come and the springs of the earth to gush forth and the waters rose to the level decree. <laughs> Embark on the ship, called Nu. In the name of Allah, be its moving course and its resting place. As the ship sailed on the towering waves, Nuh cried out to his son, who had separated from the rest. O oh, my son, come with us and do not be with the disbelievers. Don't worry, father. 
I will climb to the top of the mountain. It will save me from the water. This day, nothing can save you from the decree of Allah, my son. Only Allah's mercy can save you. And then the waves came between them. And the sun was in those who were Indeed, no cried unto us, and we are the best to hear prayer. And we rescued him and his family from a great distress, and his progeny, them we made the survivors. And we left this blessing from amongst future generations. Peace and salutations to Nu among the nations. Indeed, we do reward those who do right.